We never talk about him because they got Kershaw and Walker Bueller. Right. Can he keep that up? Train. Uh, absolutely, especially the tempo that he works. He commands the strike zone with all his pitches, especially the off-speed pitches. He'll throw it at any count. So as a hitter, it keeps you off balance. Also, when you throw the fastball, it can be at 90, but it looks at 99 because he's slowing you down, but has great pace. And he doesn't walk anybody. Coming into this game, his last seven starts, only three walks 48 strikeouts so he knows how to command it he knows how to lull guys to sleep and he's efficient he's pitch efficient and he loves going in deep in the ball games and the one thing i like about him he takes the ball like he's clayton kershaw or yeah. bueller he doesn't waver away from the big moments and going up against the big games and they trust him to go out there and win a big game for him yeah i think if you look at hunjin ryu i think a lot of people don't realize this because of all the il st il stints he's had nine and six years right but the organization themselves absolutely love Hunjin Ryu. Mm -hmm. They trust him when he takes the ball, like Train says. He has the ability to pitch, and he also gives you different looks. But that is going to be the interesting thing because it's you look at comparisons. Kenta Maeda, they like him in the regular season. Then they put him to the bullpen because they think he can be a difference maker down there. But Hunjin Ryu, he's a starting pitcher. They want him to go out there and take on challenges because he can spin the baseball and can give you different looks. I was watching that comeback last night, and, and you know I think the one thing, and I'm dying to hear your guys' opinion, but why I think they're better is a two-strike approach. Coming in today, they were second in OPS with two strikes, and Cody Bellinger is a different human being being with two strikes look at this where he is with two wow. strikes today these numbers are a 300 average with two strikes is unheard of and that's what he's doing and you see the improvements where he was the last couple years now look is he going to sustain what he's doing now that's hard to do for a whole year but you know you look at the, his at bat last night swing in this comeback the, the two strike approach fouling pitches off maybe cutting back on the swings a little bit it looks like there's a difference for the Dodgers. And this is the pitch right here that's surprising. It's a two-strike approach, but also getting to the barrel, getting the barrel to that baseball is very difficult to do. He has confidence here. Is it sustainable? I think it is because he's reworked his approach. He's clearing his front side. He looks very comfortable hitting to all parts of the strike zone. Last year, we didn't see that. There was some exposure, especially with two strikes. He said, listen, if I'm going to be in there every single day, I have to make adjustments, not only to right-handers, but left-handers, and he is showcasing that. But this offense is so dangerous, especially when you have a factor like that in Cody Bellinger. Well, they get a chance to play every day. Last year, they were shuffling guys, getting Puig in there, getting Camp in there. Now these guys get a chance to play every single day. For a position guy, now you have strike zone awareness. You know what pitches you can handle. You know what's balls in the strike zone. So, And they look all comfortable. And I tell you what, when you make mistakes and swing counts, 2-2, two, 1-2, two, two, that's what happened last night, and they beat. And I'll tell you, the Dodgers stay on the barrel, and when everybody's staying on the barrel, they're not looking to strike out. They're going to swing and strike out. And if you make a mistake in the strike zone, you're going to get beat. Train, this offense is dangerous, and I'll tell you why. Because it's plug and play. Whoever's in that in that uh, lineup that particular night, it's a total buy-in. That's the reason why they are so dangerous. They have an aggressive approach early in the count, and then the two-strike approach, along with Cody Bellinger. It's a cohesive unit. They mm -hmm. have ability to wear you out, and they are very dangerous, and, and much so than last year. Last year, they had some weaknesses, and it isn't all, all the guys that they got rid of. These guys are trusting, in, in fact, they can go out there and they can dominate no matter who's on that, on that thing. They understand the recognize plans at the plate better than anybody in baseball. So essentially, you're saying, hey, uh, strike one, strike two, swing for the downs. After yeah. that, yeah. we got to make contact. Absolutely. And that's a great approach, especially as a starting pitcher. You know, now I have to execute and bounce that ball. You see catchers now, when they give the signs, they're pointing down in the dirt. If I make a mistake, now they can give their A or B swing. You saw Bellinger two nights ago, Matt's ahead in the count, hangs a breaking ball. Now Bellinger gives that A swing and puts it in the seat. So you have to focus on them. And it's not just Bellinger. It's one through eight that can hit you, hit the ball out of the ballpark. They're fun to watch. They're rocking in L.A. They are.